Hey, what's up everybody? I am Jason and you're watching my channel, Micro Investor. All right, so in this video, I wanna talk about three holdings of mine that have really helped out uh, my portfolio uh, over this last week. They've, they've really been the stronger stocks. Uh, they're a little bit larger holdings of mine. And uh, let's, let's get to this. So Ford, uh, Ford over this last week is up 10.89%. Uh, Ford has had some really good, like, has given out some really good news, and they've also had some bad news. Uh, they recalled, you know, nine, oh, like, 900,000 trucks, I think, F-Series trucks, but at the same time, they've decided that they were going to, um, cancel their plans on having a factory in Mexico, and that also greatly helped out, uh, everybody's interest in the stock. You know, they're going to add jobs grow the company here in the United States and in Michigan and everything. Um, so that was really cool. Uh, so next, uh, Tesla. Tesla is up 9.44%. Uh, Tesla is also another large holding of mine in my portfolio. Uh, you know, Tesla has had some good news, like uh, quite a bit of good news. Uh, they just broke uh, ground in their uh, Shanghai factory uh, that they're going to be building. And as uh, Gary Ellison is a, uh, you know, on the board for the company. Uh, but the other stock uh, that has also been performing really well and is also a large holding of mine, that is Wingstop. Uh, Wingstop is up 10.85% over this last week. That stock has been performing phenomenal no matter what. Like over, over this last year, it's up 100%. Um, it's been a very amazing holding for me um that and a lot of that reason for that stock is uh uh has to do with like um like blackrock you know they're wanting to uh they're they're buying you know buying more shares a lot of people a lot of fund managers and stuff are buying uh shares of wingstop and is actually uh shrinking the amount of stocks that they have which is the price is going up obviously for that reason and not just that wingstop is actually growing franchises at a very phenomenal rate. Uh, they're now expanding globally. They have over 100 uh, wing stops opening up between uh, Australia and uh, New Zealand. So uh, that company is, you know, really expanding uh, their their um, business there. And I'm also trying to figure out where I, uh, where I stand with wing stop. Now, I don't want to sell a stock, but I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to um, buy any more shares of them here soon because the stock is performing so well. And to take a quote from Benjamin Grant from the Intelligent Investor, uh, an intelligent investor realizes a stock is more risky as it rises. So that's uh, pretty much where I am with that, with Wingstop at this moment, because it being up over 100% over this last year, uh, that definitely does make that stock more risky to um, buy into. I more than likely will um, start investing into Wingstop again in February. It's just I don't want to uh, feel comfortable buying into it until I hear the earnings report next month and then I know where to take it from there. Anyways, I just want to make this video short and get it up there, give you guys a little bit of an update about what's going on. Uh, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I have new videos coming out on my channel all the time. Thank you for watching.